We hear the word corona a lot these days, but corona is not new in the world of electrical engineering. Today we will discuss corona effect in detail. If you have ever come across high voltage electrical transmission lines, you might have seen a violet glow and heard a hissing noise. The ionization of air surrounding the high voltage electrical transmission lines causing the conductor to glow producing a hissing noise is called corona effect or corona discharge. Corona effect is more common in high voltage electrical transmission lines. It can cause a hissing or cracking noise. It also produces a violet glow and results in the production of ozone gas. How it occurs? We know that air is not a perfect insulator and there are plenty of free electrons and ions present in the air. According to the law of electromagnetic induction, when electric current passes through a conductor, an electric field is established in the vicinity of the conductor. Due to this electric field, the free electrons and ions in the air will experience a force. As a result of this force, the ions and free electrons get accelerated and will move in the opposite directions. During this motion, the charged particles collide with each other and also with the uncharged particles, and the number of charged particles is increased rapidly. As a result, the conduction of air increases and a breakdown occurs establishing an arc between the conductors. Now we will discuss some of the factors affecting the corona discharge. The most important factor is the supply voltage. Corona discharge depends upon the electric field intensity produced by the system voltage. With the increasing system voltage, the electric field intensity will increase, resulting in the increase of corona discharge. Corona discharge is negligible at low voltages. Second factor is the conductor shape and surface. Corona effect also depends upon the shape, material and condition of the conductor. Corona discharge has an inverse proportionality relationship with the diameter of the conductor. If the diameter of the conductor is increased, the corona discharge will reduce considerably and vice versa. Corona effect also depends on the surface of the conductor. If the surface of the conductor is rough and uneven, it will decrease the value of the breakdown voltage. As the electric field will be more concentrated at rough spots, with the reduction of breakdown voltage, the corona loss will increase. On the other hand, corona loss will be less in conductors having smooth surface and hence a uniform electric field. Another factor is air density. Corona loss is inversely proportional to air density. That is, corona loss will increase with a decrease in air density and vice versa. Corona loss is high in transmission lines passing through the hilly areas because of low density of air in the hilly areas. Spacing between the conductors also affects the corona discharge. If the spacing between two conductors is very large as compared to the diameter of the conductor, the corona effect will be minimized. This happens because by increasing the distance between the conductors, the electrostatic stress at the conductor surface is reduced resulting in very low corona discharge. Another important factor is the surrounding atmosphere. As corona discharge occurs due to the ionization of air surrounding the conductors, therefore it is highly affected by the atmospheric conditions. In a stormy weather, the number of ions surrounding the conductor is very high and there is a high chance of electric discharge on such day, whereas in clean weather with normal airflow, the chance of corona discharge will be low. Now we discuss some of the disadvantages of corona effect. Due to corona effect, energy is dissipated in the system, which is referred to as corona loss. The energy is dissipated in the form of visible glow and audible hissing noise. This power loss is highly undesirable and uneconomical and results in the reduction of the efficiency of the transmission line. A non-sinusoidal voltage drop occurs in the transmission line due to corona effect which causes interference with the neighboring communication circuits. Corona effect results in the production of ozone gas because of which the conductor becomes corrosive. Now we discuss some of the methods to reduce corona discharge. Number 1. By increasing the conductor size. By increasing the diameter of the conductor, the corona discharge can be reduced. That's why ACSR conductors are mostly used on high voltage transmission lines because of their larger cross-sectional areas. Next method is by increasing conductor spacing. Corona loss can be minimized by increasing the spacing between the conductors. However, we can increase the distance between conductors to a certain limit because the cost of supporting structure that is cross arms and other hardware including spacer etc will increase considerably.
Next method is with the use of bundled conductors. With bundled conductors, the effective diameter of conductor is increased, resulting in low corona loss. That's one of the main reasons behind the use of bundled conductors on high voltage transmission lines. Another popular method is the use of corona rings. Corona discharge first occurs at sharp points, edges and corners because of the strong electric field at such points. Corona rings reduce the corona discharge by making the conductor surface round and uniform at such points. The sharpness of conductor is reduced and the charge is distributed across a wider area. Corona rings are installed at the end of insulator strings and bushings. Thanks for watching the video and stay in touch for more such videos.